Hey guys, the chicken is here. We are back today with another beach video. In today's video, guys, we got a good one for you. We made it all the way up to rank 18. So we're gonna go over the tech tree, what's important to get, what's not important to get. If you're a little bit behind, we're gonna get you caught up to speed, give you some excellent bases and uh, basically everything that you need to get going on season 36 because it is a tough season right out of the gates, but I think we've got gotten to the point now where we can kind of cover all the options. So if you enjoy this type of video, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel. And I do appreciate it guys if you throw that code chicken in the shop. It does expire every seven days. So appreciate it if you do that, if you're gonna pick up instant training or an extra builder or anything like that. So let's get into the good stuff with that out of the way. Um, so here we go, we are at rank 18 and we are, I think we're like, we're, we're actually not that high on the global. We're like 250, it might even be closer to 300 now. Um, yeah, so 292, not gonna complain. But uh, but yeah, here's the base that did it. If you guys want to screenshot this. Now, I added, uh, since yesterday's video, I added boom cannons maxed out and I actually grabbed a multi-node. Um, so yeah, give you a sec to, uh, to screen grab that stuff. And yeah, so let's move into the tech tree here next. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll kind of walk through all the options and you know go over what makes sense versus what doesn't. Rifles and Grenadiers are going to be good if you don't have a lot of tech at the start. Um, I would actually max out Grenadiers because they are um, they're still viable. Uh, I, I was going against Grens a few times today too, um, and, and they're going to be they're going to be more important as we you know kind of move forward through to, towards the end of, of three engines um, and the bases have a lot of defenses. Uh, Grenadiers are actually a nice play for that because they will make sure that you clear the base every time. Otherwise, it's tough to stay alive. That's the thing. Um, defense, 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 defense. My whole plan this season has just simply been, um, you know, to play defensively and to unlock stuff defensively. I kind of made a mistake in the sniper towers too early, but it all can't, can't kind of came to, uh, came to be, uh, today. So I, I was happy with how that turned out. Um, obviously, uh, we want to get boom cannons before we get brick. If you're at that point, get the boom cannons first. They're more important than brick is right away. And going to four engines from what I've seen so far. Has not been uh, has not been the right move. Four engines with less defenses is actually um, easier to clear than three engines with a lot of defenses. So something just to take into account. Now, as we move forward, forward for the you know some of the the guys with the higher tech and uh, you know just higher ranking on the leaderboard. Um, yeah, building health is going to be nice. Bombers are going to be nice. Rocket launchers are going to be nice. All those things are going to be really good. So. You know, we got to look out for that. We don't want to stay in three engines too, too long. But at the same time, um, yeah, you know, we got to make do with uh, with kind of what we have. So what I'm planning to do next, you know, we might as well lock this in right now. I'm going to grab um, boom mines next. And to do this, I could get smokes, but I think what I'm going to do is go through GBE because I think smokes are kind of good right now. We'll get into all the different attack styles in a second. Um, but I don't think they're going to be as good, you know, later on. So... Let's grab our gunboat energy and then our next chest, uh, or our next couple chests, we'll be able to get uh, boom mines and max those out. I'm not going to pour any upgrade points in this, but it is nice to get that little uh, that little GBE boost. And I think that's going to be beneficial later on too as we move towards things like bombardiers um, and once we unlock shock bombs and that kind of stuff. So attack strategy. Let's go over the attack strategy. Um, let's see which one we had a decent time on. See, a lot of these guys are just straight up fizzling. This was actually my boss fight. This was crazy. I fizzled and he fizzled and I had 2% more um, destruction than him, which is pretty crazy because this season has not been like that for me. I actually fizzled on every single one of these, which is crazy. But um, anyways, let's go against the, let's, uh, let's take a look at this. So these bases are tough. And like I said, Grenadiers aren't a bad option because they're, they're at least going to clear the base. And this is kind of the standard attack, I would say, for right now. It's just simply uh, six heavies, two Zookas, Brick, and Iron Will. That's kind of what you need on offense. Now, for using Iron Will, and, uh, you know, basically what you want to do is you want to hit it right before the Zookas are going to hit any mines, or your heavies are taking a ton of damage. Um, you know, if you have, like, a front-loaded base and a lot of boom cannons, um, you, you need the heavies to survive for, uh, basically, if you want to clear it the entire match. Um, now you see what I did right there. The reason I did that was the Zookas stand behind the heavies, obviously, right? They outrange them. So when they take down the engine room and then they walk the other way, they're actually going to be in front of the heavies. So that little flare right there just allows the heavies to get just out in front 
in case they're gonna have to clear any mines or anything like that. You see as the mortar's coming down, as we're crossing the mines, popping another iron wheel to, uh, to get ahead. And, you know, from here, it's pretty well, you know, you gotta have enough troops left or you gotta have the, uh, you know, the, the right positioning to get around the mines. And I didn't hear, obviously, tried our best, but uh, some of these bases are just stacked, man. Just absolutely stacked. Now, my biggest push point today was actually going back and getting uh, this second cannon. So, again, going all defensive, uh, the cannon is on the route to boom mines. I want to get boom mines and possibly shock bombs uh, before we go to four engines. I don't know. We'll see. I think boom mines and then straight to four ER because we don't want to stay at three for that long, um, even with kind of this super dirty base that we're running here. But, yeah, so that's the plan. That, that's where we're at right now, guys. And... Uh, Nothing left to do but get into some live attacks. So let's uh, let's get to it. All right. So, but yeah, it's been a, it's been a, a rough rough season. Uh, definitely a tough couple of days of pushing. Um, today it took a lot of grinding, probably a hundred battles or close to it at least. Um, and it, it was funny. Like before I got those two cannons, I could barely stay in seventeen. As soon as I added those, but it doesn't sound like much, right? Just a couple extra defenses. Um, it made all the difference in the world. So, um, yeah. Now, this guy has 40 DBD, 50 troop damage. All right, so I think we're going to be safe to run the same old. And this is kind of that base that I was talking about, right? Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, I like to keep the Zooka somewhat together, but still spread them out a little bit. Um, but this is the base that I was talking about. If I just let my heavies go like this, a lot of them are going to die to all these boom cans. So it's actually worth using an early iron will. Um, just to get off the, the, the landing zone and, and keep all the heavies up and active and alive. Now, some of this does come down to just, you know, how the troops are going to spread, which is tough to control. Uh, it can also be extremely frustrating at times, but, um, you know, that's, that's really all we can look at. So we're about to hit this mine here, or at least it looked like we were. Um, either way, not a bad time for an iron wheel. Um, just where all these troops are going here, and that is going to save us again. Okay, so that was definitely worth it. Um, oh, God, I think we need another one. I don't know where that mine went. That might have been a little bit panicky, but I think we'll be okay. Now, the difference here is the defenses are at the very back, so I'm not going to have to... Actually, I think I, I will reflare, just because I don't like where Brick is going. So, you can reflare. The heavies are fast enough that they're going to hit the flare and then, and then uh, duck in front really quickly. Um, so for this base, I'm going to clear this engine, then I'm going to go all the way around the world here, um, rather than go through those mines. And look at that, guys. That is beautiful. Opponent has retreated. So we got this, uh, we got the dub on lock. But either way, let's uh, let's move around to, to this side here and try to finish this one out. Um, I think we're okay to just let them, let them fan out like that. Let's use an iron wheel just to try to keep these heavies alive, try to eat a couple more shots for us. Um, and if, if I had enough heavies here, we could actually just flare on the engine room. Uh, we don't, so that's going to be tricky. And... No, 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 don't go that way. Oh, I should have read that they were going to go that way. That's okay. And what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to just flank them all the way back this way. Just get away from that cannon. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, not what we want to do to get a great time, but, uh, this is at least going to safely allow us to take down that, that engine room. So, that is pretty sweet. And there we go. So with that, we're going to move up a pretty decent amount of points there. That's going to be... Oh, it's Doomy! Commander J. Coconut. I think it's Doom. Uh, either way, uh, that, that was pretty sweet. So, um, yeah, that is six in a row. Or seven in a row, rather. So things are looking good, guys. Things are looking good. That was, uh, that, that was pretty solid. So let's check out where we're at on the leaderboard now. Now, I don't know. Maybe I could make a push at 19. I, I'm not really sure what the... What the plan is there, but um, 1822, that's going to bring us right on the edge of the top 200, guys. So things are going to get tougher as we, um, you know, as we move move forward here. But I think our next little kind of mini push point, hopefully we can get to 19 with the boom mines. Um, we'll have to see and, and kind of play it by ear. But I hope that that helps you guys out and, and gets you off on the right start. Because I know it's been, like I said a few times, frustrating season if you watched the last couple of videos. Um, you know, I was struggling too right with you and then today everything like as long as we stick we got us This is what we talked about, right? We got to stick to the plan. The plan was go defensive. We got the sniper towers So now we got to go all in I don't want to do like a hybrid kind of you know We're missing a little bit of defenses, but we're also not getting to four yards and building health early So I think for the position we're in right now we got to make the most of it and uh, yeah 
So let me know what you think of that down below in the comments. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. Catch you next one, guys. Chicken out. Crack, crack.